Good morning and welcome to day two of my Disney Magic at Sea UK staycation of vlogs. Today we are literally at sea. <laughs> Yesterday we didn't leave Southampton until about I think I want to say three or four o'clock in the morning. Uh, I was still awake. My friend Arzu who I'm with had already slept but I was like lying on the bed about to sleep and I was like oh my god I'm feeling myself rocking. It was actually kind of soothing you know it, it put me to sleep but this morning we've both woken up and we're at sea so let me show you the view. This is Arazu. Welcome <laughs> to the sea. Oh wow. This is pretty cool. We must be very deep into the sea as well because there's not I can't really see anything. There's something over there, but yeah, why? out over there I can't actually see anything in the distance. The sky is looking beautiful. We've got our chairs here as well. We might um oh sorry, we might have breakfast here tomorrow morning. We're gonna go to Cabanas today, but um yeah. This is it. I'm going to sit down. Oh, it, is, it, is, it is quite cold now, isn't it? I <laughs> Every now and again, a little bit of a wind comes and I mean, yeah, this is it. I like how high these are as well. So they're very, very safe. If you have kids or, you know, children, younger people in your families, you won't have to worry about anything happening. But this is a phenomenal view. This is, I feel very, very lucky. How was your sleep last night, Arazu? It was good. I yeah. felt much warmer and it was good. Yeah, same. I, I I didn't wake up once, I don't think. I fell asleep at around 4 a.m. and I just went straight through <laughs> until about 7.30 when we, we, we'd both set so, our alarms for 7.30 and we ended up snoozing it for about an hour. And now it's 9. Yeah, it's like 9 <laughs> o'clock and we only got out of bed about, I don't know, half an hour ago. So an hour of snoozing. But it was, it was I think it was worth it. We needed it. But yeah, this is good. Like I said, we're going to go to Cabana's to get some breakfast. We've got the Tangled musical later on today as well. We're just going to explore the ship. We might do some Disney trivia, see some characters. And when, where's our dinner tonight? I can't remember. Oh yeah, Lumiere's. I have a seven Lumiere's, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, the thing is, when you're on the ship, you don't get 4G and you don't get Wi-Fi. <laughs> you can pay for it. But like, <laughs> we, it's, it's really frustrating in a really weird way that you can't even figure out exactly where you are because like your Google Maps won't work. But it um, doesn't matter. It's fine. We can just enjoy the anonymity of this area and just... Uh, it's just actually at, at 5.15. I think that must be wrong. I saw that as well, but it can't be because on the card it says 8.14. Oh, like we okay. have to stay. I think that that must Maybe be a mistake. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hope it's a mistake anyway, because there's no way I can eat at 5.30 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the late dining. We're going to have a race. Yeah. <laughs> Another, another food race because last night watch my day one vlog like that was we wait wait we ate that Rapunzel's and it was just like constant food coming to us and like before we even managed to finish it and it literally felt like you know one of those like man eats man versus food like the, the competitions where you have to like constantly eat food and there's that's no true. gap that's how it felt we've just changed into our Disney tops for the day sailor tops these are from magical day apparel if you're wondering um we've got our ears as well ready for breakfast and Mickey and hopefully we'll see some characters today as well. I'd like to maybe bump into Goofy if he's around. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. We have come to deck nine. Uh, I think I can hear Ariel singing as well, but I might be wrong. This is the sea. Weather's actually really nice as well today. Definitely better than yesterday, but yeah, Cabanas apparently is uh, at the end of this area here, so that's where we're heading off to. Oh. <laughs> Hello, yes, please. Oh, thank you very much, thank you. So yeah, we have to wash our hands first. So we've both washed our hands now. This is the entrance, which is cute. In fact, everything here is cute. I'm loving the kind of wooden artwork with all the sea stuff everywhere. It's cute. Oh yeah, we're both quite hungry now. So yeah, I think um, Cabanas is normally a buffet and it still is a buffet, but they actually give you the food themselves. So, hello. Yes, please. So they have some donuts, very cute. They have some, I think that looks like ham and cheese croissants, mini croissants. That's really cute as well. Yeah, there you go, ham and cheese croissant. Um, they have some Mickey churros, they said it does stay here as well. Mickey churros. The cast member said it's the first time they've done it on this ship anyway. They didn't have them. It's, apparently it's not quite a common thing anyway. Some more pastries here. And then here they've got some hot stuff. So you've got your sausages, your eggs, your scrambled eggs and stuff, your hash browns over here, pancakes, bread. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Good morning! Thank you! 
and then they've got some beans as well so you could do like a full-on english breakfast if you'd like there's, there's so much options yeah yeah i don't i don't even know where to start and then i think over there you can get some cereals and and fruits and yogurts and whatnot as well so i think we're both going to start from here the service on this ship is honestly on another level so we've just come to our table now have we both got our first uh, first place i'll show it to you in a second but we've got a very nice window view as well and yeah excited to eat so this is my first plate uh, i just went for all the classic stuff so scrambled eggs sausage hash browns a french toast i eventually decided to go for a bit of bacon as well Ooh. you are come to your breakfast thank you very much and uh, and some toast i just got some beans honey butter pancakes, pancakes. eggs and what's this honey oh honey oh cute well, a bon appetit. Firstly, the breakfast was really, really nice. Um, the hash browns were great, the sausage was great, the scrambled eggs was. Um, and yeah, I'm just taking a little bit of a break uh, so I can go for my second plate. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, I think my second plate is not going to be a big one like that. It's going to be maybe like a croissant. The ham and cheese croissants look good. I do want to try the Mickey churro. Iris has already gone for her second plate. I think she wants to get like some, some pastries as well, I think she said, or maybe a donut or something. But yeah, uh, they do have a drink section as well, which is why I got some drinks. It's so funny, I've literally got a selection of drinks here. They do really make you eat here, it's interesting, because I went there so I went there to get a, a tea for my friend Arzu and then my, an apple juice for myself, that's all I wanted. By the way, look how cute these cups are. I don't know if you can see the hidden Mickeys on them. I think they're adorable. They're, they're literally very, very hidden, so if you don't pay too much attention, you'll miss them. But they do have little Mickeys on these cup here and there. Anyway, I got myself this apple juice. That's all I wanted in a tea for my friend. And I was just curious. So as I got my apple juice, I was like, oh, I was just wondering if you also do um, hot chocolate. But I didn't mean I want hot chocolate. And uh, the cast member was like, yeah, I'll make you one as well. And I was like, okay. Obviously, I didn't have enough hands. So I was like, I'm going to have to come back for that. And then when I went back, I was like, I might as well get some water too. Also, as I was waiting for my hot chocolate, not waiting, as I went back to collect my hot chocolate, which is here, um, a little, like, I don't know, six, seven year old girl just kind of started chatting to me. She was like, Is that hot chocolate? I was like, Yeah. She was like, Is it good? Like, it looks really good. I was like, Yeah, I, don't, I think it's, it's good. It looks good. I've not tried it yet. And we ended up having a small. Oh, you got the Mickey Churro? Aris has just come back with her second plate and we've got a croissant here and a Mickey churro I think and that looks awesome so I might have to go and get a Mickey churro as well Aris is eating her stuff over there she even got some fruits just to have a bit of balance but yeah you've tried the churro already right is it good yeah it's good. yeah I also went for the churros and I decided to by the suggestion of Arazu she said try and make this look like a Mickey situation and I did I went for a donut as well I saw those of other amazing things as well when I went to get these that I would like to try maybe tomorrow they have so many food options here it's insane but yeah this is what it looks like they're warm as well and they smell lovely they basically smell like churros and then I also decided to get some maple syrup in case I want to just put some on the churro I don't know that might be a weird thing to do and of course I've got my hot chocolate and of course we've got this lovely sea view as well we can both feel the motion though Arozu has started feeling it as well initially because yeah when you're sitting down you feel it more because you, you just feel like you're rocking because I, I started feeling it last night and then initially Arozu was like I can't really f yeah she couldn't feel it and I was like I promise you you will I'm low-key kind of glad but it's not like a big problem or anything I mean as somebody who gets like really really seasick I did take a tablet about an hour ago just to be sure that nothing happened but yeah I've not felt seasick necessarily it's just I, I feel it I do feel the movement a lot I'm very sensitive to movement I think so Cabana's breakfast was a lot it was I'm very very full but it was lovely really, really nice we've come down to deck four now because I got a little notification on my watch <laughs> my phone that some Disney characters might be meeting they're only like a distance meet uh, so the socially distance character meet in Walt Disney Theatre which is apparently somewhere here on deck four so we thought we'd check it out we had a look both of us on the app last night and kind of favorite the things that we wanted to do today and it's really cool that you get to do that on the app like you can just note them and then they will remind you when they happen you don't have to go to them it's just like you know reminding yourself so yeah I'm currently standing <laughs> in front of this phenomenal ocean view again which I'm sure by the end of this whole vlog series you're probably gonna get sick of me saying this but it's just a really nice view it's just a nice view like just oh no that's okay it's just a really really cool 
cool view and a view that I haven't seen in a long long time haven't seen such calming peace and beauty in a while so let me show it to you look how lovely and calming it is you might even be able to hear some of the some of the wave sounds oh, it's so nice it's just so nice to be able to see the sea every now and again we didn't get to experience this much yesterday last night when we embarked because we were still in Southampton but yeah hello, oh hello hi Gucci oh Miki you look amazing <laughs> love that <laughs> Good to see you. I think we should probably follow them because I think that I think they might be going to the Walt Disney Theatre. So we're just gonna go and see what they're doing. Hello. Hello. Yeah, just first time the crew just wanted to say. Yeah. Do you mind if I film her really quickly? She's doing a vlog. She's on YouTube. Hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Yeah. See for the first time. Yeah. First time on sea, yeah. First time on any cruise. So yeah. All right. How do you like it so far? Really good. Yeah. So cool. Fantastic. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Well, thank enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you so There's much. a lot of activities that we have. Yes. Thank so you so much. Go around and enjoy. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Hello. Hello. So that's the Walt Disney Theatre. I think this is where we need to go. Mickey and Goofy did did go somewhere else, so I don't think it's gonna be them two that are gonna be here, but we'll we'll see. There you go guys. Should we go that way? Yeah, sure, thank you. This theatre is beautiful, like just the theatre itself. I think this is where they have the Tangled musical on as well, which we're hoping to see tonight at 6 pm. But yeah, lovely theatre. This is beautiful, like stunning. And you know what else is stunning? Minnie's outfit. She looks so cute and Pluto. Oh, they both look so adorable. Hello. Hi. Hi, hi Pluto. Hi Minnie. Hi Pluto. You got some moves. Yeah, great well dancer. Done. Minnie, wow. your outfit amazing. You can dance. <laughs> oh Pluto. Well <laughs> done. I love your Marvel shoes. Fans. We have our Marvel Ooh. fits on Ooh. today. Wow. It would be cool to meet them as well. Oh yeah. yeah. Look at your legs. That is so cool. Yeah, You're both web. so spot on. Exactly. Both looking love the detail. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, just met Pluto and Mini. Da -da 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 -da. They're playing this small world theme tune in that theatre. Love it. Love it. And both of them are very cute as well. We've just popped into Fathoms on deck three because they've got like a small uh, little marvel. Uh, meeting greet I suppose going on or like a this I think they call it actually it's really funny on the app let me show it to you they call it a pier and wave so Marvel heroes a pier and wave begins at 11 15 which is it's like five minutes after you know um, 11 15 now but yeah the uh, Black Panther is currently on stage we've got the families waiting to meet him and it's cool I don't I don't know if we're gonna wait to go and kind of full on have a chat with him but it's a nice place here like, it's made me want to maybe come and have a look at the actual area at Fathoms. I wonder if this is where they do some of the quizzes as well, the trivia quizzes, because it looks like a cool place to be. So, basically just outside Fathoms they have these pretty big window things, circular window things, and they have like a seating area, which is where I'm at. But you can just chill here and you, you see so many people just relaxing on them. Oris is just around the corner, Oris do. Yeah, we've managed to find one each. And we're just enjoying looking at the waves, and yeah just chilling here um it's really relaxing isn't it? it's nice to kind of it's a nice change wow that was a huge wave just now it's a lovely change from all the other activities i mean there's so much to do there really is so much to do on this cruise there's no way we're gonna have enough time to do everything but even so it is nice to take some time out and um, it's not very sunny as you might be able to see like the clouds the sky is pretty cloudy so not the hottest weather but it is still it's just nice and I, I'm loving the fact that I, I'm going forwards as well because I'm not going to lie, when I was in the theatre to meet Minnie and Pluto, we only had to wait for a five minutes or something but even in that five minutes I started to feel a little bit, just a little bit seasick. I'm just being completely honest with you because as I mentioned in my, um, I surprised my friend with a Disney Cruise video, if you want to watch that feel free to do it, Oris's reaction was really cute but I do suffer with pretty pretty severe motion sickness and I'd read a lot about how it would be on a cruise and it's not as bad as I thought it would be thankfully like I'm managing but there are times when I do feel quite a bit because <laughs> just I just feel like I don't feel great at times but right now the way I'm kind of just lying here looking at the waves I think it really does help seeing 
what's happening so because I'm going forward as well as I said and I can see the waves just the, the kind of the ship going that way with me I feel much better I feel fine now so that's another reason why we're both chilling here for a bit and of course it's just nice to nice to look through the windows and see everything they also have something called keys over there I see the sign for it keys sea treasures I think it might be like another shop and then Ogrill's pub and some toilets but yeah we're just gonna focus on this for now mm. yes we managed to sneak out out of port in the early hours and now we are in the middle of the seas wow really? I would like to take this opportunity to give you some general and very much on the same direction <laughs> The weather forecast for tomorrow calls for cloudy skies with a chance of showers and the highest expected temperature. We found a bigger one. Um, a bigger one of these. We're not not the window, but like the seating area. It's slightly larger, so two people can sit on the same one. The captain is still speaking. I don't even know if you can hear me. I hope you can hear me. Oh well. Um, yeah, we were going to go to deck ten. <laughs> But I don't know, we're just too comfortable here, we'll see. We did decide to maybe go and do some trivia, Disney music trivia at Fathoms in about half an hour. But at the moment we're just enjoying this, this life. Here is a quick tour of the senses, the spa and salon, um, which is on the top deck of the ship. And it smells lovely, just coming here I can smell beauty even under my mask. It's a beautiful, really relaxing area to be. Like I said, even if you don't plan on getting any treatments, it's just a nice place to come and visit. And uh, you can get a little tour as well, perhaps. Yeah, you want to see Amelia? Yeah, why not? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You've been with Disney before. Never. I've never done Disney cruise. Oh, yeah. So how is it so far? It's very wonderful. Oh yeah. It's so <laughs> good. Yeah. This is the rainforest. So this is mm. in the heart of the spa. Let's have a peek. Oh, wow. Okay. We're just doing it in at the moment. This okay. Is, um, so rainforest is basically the heart of the spa. It's an ultimate relaxation area. Wow. So what we have here is we have two steam rooms. One aromatherapy infused. Oh. And one is a mild steam room. I see. So, and then we also have here three experiential showers so we have the high fog wow. which is like the mist mm. and we also have the rain shower which is like a raindrops and we have the tropical thunder which is kind of strong wow. like, wow. all of the experiential showers have aromatherapy wow, so okay, when you stood there when you stand like this, <laughs> this everything is just pouring on you yeah. and it helps to cool down your body temperature after you use the heating facility wow. just thought I'd show you the fitness room as well the gym it's uh, at the front of the ship, so you've got like a full-on incredible view of the water. I shouldn't have cancelled my session. <laughs> and you've got loads of incredible facilities, quite a lot of treadmills, bikes, you know. You've even got some weights over here, I'm not going to show it because there are people here, I don't want to film people. But um, yeah, it's an incredible, I love, I would love to come here, you don't have to reserve either. It's 18 plus only, nobody under 18 can come here, but... And they, did, they didn't even do the safety thing with one... Uh, yeah, one exactly, so like one, uh, there's like a, a distance between people, so obviously it's not very busy at the moment anyway, but even if, even if it was, you don't have to worry about being next to other people, because they've made sure to block uh, each one out. But yeah, I, I can imagine it being pretty fun, quite, quite a unique experience of being at the gym, almost feels like you're walking on sea and I love walking so you know being on a treadmill and kind of seeing the ocean in front of you can be a really really fun experience so yeah that was the gym oh yeah I thought I'd show you some of the weights as well now because there's no one here now so I can show it to you and some more some more stuff but yeah that is the gym if I was here on a longer cruise I might actually use it because it does look quite fun we've just come up onto the top deck for a bit um, the weather's nice it's windy but it's nice like it's definitely not cold I, I enjoy this kind of weather but yeah, this is like the very top deck, I would say. And there's even like, I want to say a basketball court here. Wise world of sports. I'm going to show it to you in a bit. But the sea is here. Oh, I can't wait to go on the slides, but I want it to be a little bit warmer. Oh, <laughs> we're going to get some photos in a sec, guys.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. So they're showing inside out. Uh, on the top deck here on the main, I guess, screen where they had frozen on yesterday. We just took quite a lot of photos. Whether or not we're going to purchase them, who knows. But big shout out to Yasmin, the cast member. She was the one who took our photos yesterday as well. She's really, really sweet. Very, very friendly. Very lovely. As are basically all the cast members here. But yeah, it was just a bit of fun. Very windy, so I'm not even sure what the shots are going to look like. But we are going to go back down now. I always keep saying I can't believe people are like in the pools but because it is pretty windy like it's it's not too cold but it's just very windy so it's yeah i was just think, saying earlier i don't know if i'm even going to get a chance to go on the the slides because if it ends up being so windy throughout the whole oh, hello <laughs> hi <Hiya. laughs> if it ends up being um this kind of cold and windy throughout the next couple of days i just don't know if i want to risk getting into my <laughs> um sun uh not sunbathing outfits no that's the swimming costume and get cold because it's very cold right now we're both trying to oh yeah yeah these doors just open without even having to touch them it's really cool um, i'm part of your cruise and entertainment team here on board the beautiful disney magic and i'm here to do a disney tunes trivia for you so... what's that well it's the name of the movie is it and the name of the song i'm going to give you a clue all of the movies are disney movies <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. We we need to do this. Yes. Oh, I got my competition oh, at you now. Okay, question four. Question number five. Here we go. Okay. Oh yeah, that's so easy. Yeah. We know. We know. Yeah. It's my favorite princess as well. Oh, let's have a listen. At least we got the first one right for now. Okay, so so far we've only had one wrong answer and it was number three. So we're doing pretty well. It was Jungle Book. Alrighty, this was your next clip. Yeah, we don't even know the name of the song. That's, easy, that's an easy one. What's the name of the movie? The Lion King. The Lion King. What's the name of the song? Hakuna, Hakuna Matata. Matata. Hakuna Matata. Mulan. Yes, very nice. What's the name of the song? True. True. Shout out to, to my friend Rebecca. She loves this song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is the this one that we were kind of a bit confused about. It's definitely um. What's the name of the movie? Pin Pinocchio. Pinocchio. What's the name of the song? Oh, give a little oh, whistle. Give a little I, I, we, we just said, and always let your conscience be your guide. We've forgotten the name of the song for some reason. But we were close. We were close. We got the film right. It's my favorite song. Okay, the next question is yeah. one that we were both a little bit confused about. Yeah. I went for Aladdin, Sam goes for... What did I go for? I, I, I thought maybe... I still think it's What's the name of the movie? Fox and the Hound. What's the name we of the song? We were both completely wrong. What on earth? So wrong. When you're the best of oh my god, I do recognise it now. Oh, that's so, so annoying. There's no way I could get it. Yeah, it's not one of the films that I've seen a lot. So we ended up getting about 23 points. Yeah. I think the total was 30 or something. Uh, we only got like two wrongs and we, we got two full wrong and then what we got two two names. Like, yeah, something like that. Song. So yeah. 23 points and then nobody got the full 30 actually from this group. Uh, there were two people who got 28, so they were tied. And then they had to like have an extra extra question and then they both got that question right as well which i never would have because it was a disney junior question so i'm glad i never even made it yeah, to the top because i, I was so no disappointed what, what to be that close and then lose but I'm, I'm pleased with 23 but to be fair both ours and i were, were saying it's harder than like we thought it would be yes it's really like it's very niche songs it's very like it's very um obscure songs some of them and they only play like two three seconds of it very yeah. very 
very like obscure parts of it as well. But it was fun. Also, yeah, it was really fun. But also the Disney classic ones like the Fox and the Hound. And yeah, Lady you know, and the Kira, Tram. Lenny and yeah, Tram. yeah. And some of and, and Jungle Book. And yeah. not and not always like the most famous songs from the films either. Yeah, but it's cool. Say, yeah. I, I want to do it again because because <laughs> the competitive side of me wants to win eventually. I know I didn't win, we didn't win this time, no. but maybe we, next we did time. Well. Yeah, we, we did well. okay. We, I'm proud of us. Give me a high five. <laughs> that was such an awkward high five. No, yeah. it's a location, so it's a location, <laughs> everything is your cafe. Everything is zero cafe. We've just come to Cove Cafe to have a look at what they have. And a cast member assured us that everything here is zero calories, so it's absolutely fine. But everything looks amazing. We weren't planning on coming here, but we just walked past it. And this is an 18 plus area, by the way, so you can only come in here if you're an adult. But yeah, they do some drinks as well. Hello. Hi. Thank you for making us feel so much better about these. They look well, gorgeous. Like I told you, it's zero calories. <laughs> Zero calories. Zero calories. And yeah, they <laughs> I think that lady's gonna get something. But yeah, they do remind you about the tax as well, of course. And it's a nice area. It's a really lovely area. It's got TV over there. Yeah, that's you can cozy. see. It's very cozy, yeah, I agree with you. And I think here you can get some really specific kind of uh, coffees and lattes as well. So yeah, I might have to come to the Tiramisu Moko over there, that sounds good. And they even do peach chipotle iced tea and French pit. There's there's a lot of Speciality drinks and some good pastries over there as well. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh thank you very much. Oh, thank you. That's, that's so great. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. So we just went to Daisy's Delights, which offers slightly lighter food options, such as salads. Uh, I'm not even that hungry to be fair, but we thought, you know, it's, it's like way past lunchtime, so we might as well get something to eat. I went for the house salad, and I saw this like little tuna sandwich uh, thing uh, on the on the menu as well. It looks really cute in this like green wrap, so I thought I'd try one of those as well. And then the RSO over here. That's a Spanish salad with a similar thing, but with chicken, and that's a turkey sandwich. That looks really good, the sandwich, yeah. to be fair. Really nice. And it is raining, so I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's full on raining. So hardly anyone is outdoors. Everyone's trying to go on the cover because nobody wants to be in the rain. Uh, but it's okay, you know, it's just weather. Uh, at least we're undercover, we can still see these, the sea and we're protected from the rain, so we're gonna eat. You can just see how much rain there is. Um, you can see it just over there on the floor and the cast members are so, you know, great at actively trying to get rid of it to make sure it's safe for the guests and everyone and also because obviously if they don't do anything to it, eventually there'll be just too much rain and too much water, so... Um, yeah, very impressed with how they're dealing with the situation because it is raining pretty heavily right now. We just had a notification that says Disney Princess characters will be doing a, an appear and wave, which is the new COVID way of meeting characters, um, on deck three in about one minute. So let's go down and we're going to take the stairs because there are a few people waiting for the elevators. And, you know, this is going to be here soon, so I'd rather just, just go down the stairs as long as I've got my feet and my legs. Why not? <laughs> so we've come down to deck three and we've got Rapunzel. I think you might be able to see her. Rapunzel and Snow White are over there just waving, appearing and waving at the guests as the app tells us. So I'm going to go and wave at them. There you go. We did our wave. It is pretty interesting and clever the way they're doing character meet at the moment. I mean, you do have to laugh at the name wave and appear and wave. But it just means that it's safe for everyone. And you can see there's loads of families downstairs, which is where we were earlier as well. Um, you know, a lot of the kids are kind of dressed up as the characters. We've got the lifts. This is the midship. And Snow White and the Pons are just over there waving at everyone. And they can see everyone as well. They literally do have a look. There are some people I've noticed on the top deck as well in this area. And sometimes uh, Pons and um, Snow White even look at them and wave at them too. So wherever you are, you should be able to get your wave. You obviously get your appear from every side, but the wave as well might not be guaranteed, but you should still get it if you try. <laughs> so, Oris has just found the Toy Story aliens, the green aliens, in yeah, the lounge. It is currently at full capacity, so we can't go in. But yeah, the soldiers are just, just doing a little dance party in there. It looks like a disco or something. It looks really... it's just so random. But 
it, it does look fun, so maybe it looks like yeah, having fun. Yeah, look, looks. Oh wow! Oh my god, look! I don't wow. know if you can, oh I don't know if you can hear the music. It, it's hilarious. It, it, it sounds, hilarious. it sounds like techno music. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them, but they're just, they're just over there. I would, I never thought I would see like. Oh my god, this, he's even holding like a crayon over there and he's dancing to, to disco music. Oh, that's so funny. We just popped into Whitecaps, uh, which is one of the two main shops here on the Disney Magic cruise ship. And I wanted to show you this t shirt here. It is a Disney Magic t shirt and it's a goofy t shirt, and it's basically the same silhouette of him on the actual ship where he's painting the logo. And I thought that was really, really cool. Also, something else that Arizona and I spotted which is beautiful <laughs> like these watches here citizen watches but obviously disney fried arzu was a big fan of that one over there i don't know if you can see it let me show it to you so the second one from the left in the middle that has mini on the bottom left kind of the actual color of it is well, i'm going to zoom on it so you can see it that one over there is the one always you liked if you're wondering we did ask this is about 350 dollars without ta uh, tax and then the one i really liked is this one here which is so shiny and beautiful and it's silver and like it's more my color it's got the castle on it and this one was about 470 dollars without ta uh, tax so basically pretty expensive but if you want to treat yourself they do have some really lovely lovely options and jewelry and watches and other things as well like even some these these will be cheaper i would uh, imagine alex and annie so yeah this is 44 95 dollars so cheaper than a watch but still nice and these mugs are cute as well believe it or not i've been here i've been on this cruise ship for about 24 hours now and i haven't bought myself a mug yet so yeah I've been good, I've been good, but I don't know if I will be by the end of this. I feel like this might also be a section that some people might find exciting. Um, they do do so many spirit jerseys here and this is like, they've only got a few sizes left, a couple of small ones and a couple of medium ones. I saw loads of people kind of buying these yesterday. So I don't, I don't know what this colour is, would you say it's black? I think it's just black with like a, maybe like a rose gold or ball of the brown, I don't really know detailing on it but it is nice I can see why people would love it because it's a very neutral color and I love the kind of des uh, details on the bottom so yeah definitely see why it's popular and you can also get yourself a cap with it or one of these cute mini sailor captain t-shirts quite a light material or oh, these ones with the ankle oh look at the detail the Mickey ankles or yeah like a bottle of water and I don't know what these are just some some trousers pajama bottoms not quite sure but yeah some cute items here one thing i haven't seen so far at all though is lounge fly bags and i do know that they used to sell them so in some of the ships earlier ships um i've seen people buy lounge fly bags and like i've seen photos of people with lounge fly bags and i was really looking forward to buying a lounge fly bag how many times can i say lounge fly in one sentence but no i haven't seen any and i'm not sure if they are selling them on this cruise at all i don't know it depends i think I think it's not guaranteed what kind of merchandise you'll get uh, depending on when you're sailing so like I said some of the stuff that we've seen they haven't had in previous cruises uh, or Disney Magic at Sea UK staycations and some of them that they had before they don't have now. One last spirit jersey that I really like and I actually would get but I, I don't want to because I've spent money on other things so far is this. I actually like the colour of it. I think this is really nice and subtle. I love the blue. I think it would look really nice with like denim and then yeah the red logo Disney Cruise red on the back so yeah this whole section actually has a lot of nice nice t-shirts I would say nice t-shirts and outfits like slightly more neutral ones that aren't too over the top like this one just that just has the Mickey Mickey Cruise logo on the pocket or you can even get yourself like a luggage tag which is cute or a car magnet or oh like a keychain that's a nice, that's a nice uh, present idea actually. So we've just popped into the other shop opposite White Caps. I think it's called Mickey something. Oh, we found it. And we noticed that a lot of the things that they had yesterday are already gone, including the animator's palette butter knives that they had. I showed them to you in yesterday's vlog, not yesterday's vlog, the previous vlog from this cruise ship yesterday for me. Though, so make sure you uh, watch my day one vlog if you haven't. But yeah, they had a few of them left yesterday. Absolutely, absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even see the mugs yesterday. I was just at the mugs were gone. So yeah, that whole section used to be a lot more full yesterday. But even yesterday, when we came like within the first 20 minutes of the shop opening, we noticed that a lot of 
of the items were being taken. So my recommendation would be to come uh, to the shops first. If there's something that you really, really want, and make, uh, make the shops your first kind of point of you know contact or the first place to go to when you come on the ship because otherwise some of the items might get sold out and because we're on a cruise they can't restock as easily so I think they just kind of restock the merchandise for every single sailing and then they just have to wait for the next one so basically more or less the kind of merchandise that you see on your first day in the shops is going to be what's going to be available throughout the whole cruise um, time and the whole sailing so whether you're on a two night cruise a three night cruise or four night cruise they'll kind of have everything at the start um, and they won't be able to restock it until they're back on land so that's why so we have come back into our stateroom 7550 um, it's about 2 20 p.m we just both needed a bit of a bit of an afternoon chill i don't know if we're actually going to nap but we're just going to relax a little bit be in our room um, there's not a lot that we want to do anyway at the moment so we've got rapunzel's the musical the Pumble Rapunzel show at 6 p.m uh, so we've got a few hours. I did want to really quickly mention though that I spoke to one of the cast members in the shop and he said that they're not selling any lounge fly bags on this particular sailing which is a bit of a shame for me because I love lounge fly bags but maybe it's a blessing in disguise because if they did have them I probably would have bought at least one and that's like that would have been like $70 um, without tax because you know you always have to remember they have to add tax on this cruise ship because it's an American ship um, but yeah, they said that because they order them from Florida, sometimes there might be delays and they just didn't receive them in time. So I was like, oh, are they going to be lounge fly bags on future cruises? And he said more than likely, he said he can't guarantee if it's going to be on the next cruise, like the immediate next cruise, but there should be ones in the future. It just depends on how quickly stocks get, you know, get to London, the UK before each cruising because they have to constantly like kind of reorder some. So yeah, bit of a shame, like I said, because I would have liked to get a lounge, a particular lounge fly bag. I had my eyes on them, but I know some friends uh, who are going on cruises, some kind of other Disney vloggers, and I might see if one of them might <laughs> be kind enough to get me at this particular lounge fly bag in the future, if I still want it. That's the thing. This gives me a bit more time to actually think about whether or not I definitely want it. So maybe it's a good thing. But yeah, I am gonna <laughs> this Arazu. <laughs> I am gonna. We're both gonna just chill for a bit, as I said. And hopefully the next time you'll see us in the vlog, uh, I will look a bit more presentable because right now I just got a bit of a headache um, and I just need to relax a little bit. Not that it's not been great. It's been, it's been really fun, uh, but yeah, just need a bit of relaxation. So see you in a couple of hours. So it's about two and a half hours later and I think I look somewhat more presentable. I don't know. I don't know why I seem to have lost my voice for some reason. Maybe I've talked a lot. I have no idea, <laughs> but yeah, I feel better, uh, Iris and I both had a tiny nap, like an hour and a bit na nap, and um, yeah, I'm wearing yellow, I thought I'd wear yellow because this evening we're eating at Lumiere's, uh, that's where our rotational dining is for the night, but that's not until about 8.40, at the moment the time is about 5.15, 5.20 p.m., and uh, ours has just left and I'm going to go and join her in a bit to go and maybe if we have some time we might check out this like um, violin player who's doing some Disney songs I think in the Promenade Lounge, Promenade Lounge I think that's what it's called, something like that on deck three and then at 6pm we, we're going to go and see Tangled the musical which I'm very excited about so yeah just thought I'd update you the view of the sea is still looking fantastic looks a bit more calm than uh, earlier this morning and it doesn't look to be raining anymore which is definitely a bonus but yeah this is it also yes I do have different outfits and is set for the rest of my time on this cruise which is only another day to be honest but I overpack sometimes let's go so I believe this over there is the promenade lounge ours is already there oh they're playing tangled oh this is amazing I'm just gonna go and find my friend
Anna. Anna. <laughs> so we are um, going up one level to go to the Walt Disney Theatre, I think that's what it's called, to go and see Tangled. There it is, well done. Also, big shout out to the lovely Vian uh, violin player. She was amazing. We couldn't uh, stay for her whole set, but a few songs that we heard were really, really nice. Oh, oh hi. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So with the theatre shows, they do allocate seats to you. They tell you kind of, they give you options as to where to sit and they kind of, they suggest to make sure that you need to have at least one or two seats in between families. So this theatre at the moment does look quite full, but don't panic because, you know, everyone has to, you know, use hand sanitizer before they enter the theatre also. There is still social distancing measures. We are going to take our ears off now so that people behind us can still see. And obviously I can't film the show, so I'll see you afterwards. So the show just finished and we're just waiting still uh, for our road to be called to leave. And the cast member came up on stage at the end, one cast member, and said, can you please still stay seated after the show ends? and that a cast member will tell you when to when to leave so that not everyone leaves at once so being like super careful with uh, with covid stuff it's incredible but, but yeah uh, the show was fantastic did you enjoy the show yeah it was absolutely amazing phenomenal like outstanding i'll talk about it a bit more afterwards when it's a bit less loud but really really good so as you can see the leaving situation here is so so organized uh, having been to theater so many times in my life i've never seen such an organized leaving of people from a theater this is incredible i wish they did, they did this all the time honestly even if it's not like because of the pandemic i would love this kind of more organized way of like telling each row where to go and which way to ad exit it's cool we're still on deck four um just come out for a bit to see what the weather's like it's very windy very 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 windy so i hope you can hear me like look at this if i get closer to the sea yeah that's that's the situation i might have to even take my ears off in case in case i lose them but i just wanted to say tangled what a phenomenal show i feel really really lucky that like you know we got to see it because um, as I mentioned earlier, it's only recently, I think, I think they only started to be introduced Tangled the Musical in the last uh, sailing, maybe. So it was definitely not on for the July sailings from Liverpool. So it's quite a new thing and it was fantastic. As somebody who loves, loves musical theatre, so much of my channel is about musical theatre, um, I adored it. And I actually recognised uh, one of the cast members in it as well. So the cast member, the former who played the role of Mother Gothel, you know, Rapunzel's mum. Uh, she is played by Vivienne uh, Carlyle and I've met her a few times, I've seen her in other shows. I actually first saw her many, many years ago in Blood Brothers in the West End. I think it might have been in, um, I can't remember what theatre it was in, the Phoenix Theatre. And she is a phenomenal performer and it was really great to see her in this as well. She's got an amazing voice, great actress. The whole cast was brilliant. I did ask uh, the cast member at the end of the show if they had like a cast list. And he said he wasn't sure. He said to go to guest services and that I should be able to find like the whole full cast list there. Because, you know, I, I love to know more about performers. I'm, I'm all about the performers and what they do. So I, if I can, I'll let you know if I find out who the whole cast was because it's something that I personally am interested in. But fantastic show. Arizu, you love Tangles as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it was fantastic. I, I think the way that they turned the movie into the like theater show, it was phenomenal. The details yeah. were amazing. Yeah. The songs yeah. were great. All the performers had great yeah. voices, great, great dancing I, I as well. I was wondering like, how they would start in, uh, under the water, but then suddenly... That was yeah, really yeah, clever, that, that without giving really, too much away. Yeah. Also, Maximus was done so cleverly. Yeah, I loved him. Me. Yeah, Maximus, great. The whole cast, great. Anyway, we're going to go back in now because it's very windy. We just walked past the main atrium here and look, Stitch is just there, being his silly self. Oh, and he's got a really large crowd around him looking at him, but he's loving life. Oh, he's so cute. He is so cute. Look at him. <laughs> Goofy and Donald, dressed as sailors, are just going past as well. This is incredible. I don't know where they're going, but they look beautiful, especially my man Goofy. Stitch is still there. Where, where are they going? Are they just going to be there? Do you think? was always trying to do a goofy impression. Oh, they look cute. They look adorable. I love it. I'm trying to grab cookies for summer. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look at some of these and see. 
Oh, these are the cheesy poses that we did yesterday. No, this is not they're, bad. they're actually not too bad, yeah. They're not bad, Arazu. I think doing them we felt quite awkward, but now looking at them. Like, like yeah. The muscles or something. Yeah, it does look a bit no. odd. No. No. This is not really on. Nice this is cute. Poses. This is cute. This yeah, I, I really don't like this angle of myself. I'm not gonna lie, I prefer my right angle, so it's, it's all right, it's all right. I think but the one that, the first one, the first one of us together, I agree. Yeah, this is so, like, no. This is the, this is like probably the worst photo of us together. Yeah. Oh, Where was this? this? Tangled. That was at the restaurant yesterday. Oh, this is quite nice. cute. I like yeah. it, yeah. I hate this photo. <laughs> Oh, this, is, this nah. is fun. Look at the window. It's funny. Okay, now this is funny. So basically, um, you can kind of go through this. This is like, uh, this is on deck four where we just I came. I was going to be Tinkerbell. Oh, you, 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 <laughs> I was just saw Tinkerbell. Yeah, so this is on um, deck four. You just kind of come through and there's got they've got these screens where you can have a look at all the photos that the professional photographers have taken. Yeah, that's me and Tinkerbell. And I would say, right, I, I'd recommend coming now. So for instance, as in like, don't go on your last day because most people would be coming here on their last days. And you just scan your card as I, as ours did earlier. And then you just go in. Ours just said it's your favorite. Um, oh, this is cute, I like that, with Mickey and Minnie. That's really cute. They've got different screens here and it's just as simple as tapping your card and having a look at all the photos. You're not obligated to buy any of them, but you can if you want to. Uh, like I said, we don't have any kind of package deal. But I think by the sounds of things, we both enjoy some of the photos, so we might have to buy some of them. No one's here. So. <laughs> yeah, we're on this. Well, just now somebody came. Um, also, fun fact. Well, it's not really fun, but normally the lifts can have a lot of queue times. So Iris and I have been getting the stairs quite often um, because it's, it's uh, just shorter, shorter queue times. Obviously, I understand that not everyone is able to take the stairs, but if you can, it might save you a lot of time because, especially like in mid-afternoon times, we noticed uh, some of the lifts do tend to have a lot of families around them, and because of COVID times, you can't have everyone in one lift you have to be like well, I think it's one family per yeah. per lift so it does take a while so especially going down the stairs it's like easy um I think we did this earlier today didn't we we went down like yeah five flights of stairs from like deck nine back to Which deck three or yeah it yeah. took like less than a minute so yeah just me and Med we didn't have to wait for this lift but the lifts are beautiful three. they are really nice we're just going quickly to our stateroom for like five ten minutes just to get some water freshen up a little bit etc and as we're going through these uh, little hallways, I noticed some cute details on the floor that I hadn't actually seen before. Maybe you have, maybe you're just a more observant person than I am, but look, hidden Mickeys on the side here, and they're blue, and they're very, very cute. So yeah, love it. Back in our room, momentarily, um, and I am about to have an iced latte, skinny latte. Um, which there's actually a fridge in the room, which is amazing um, Normally, I don't really care about having a fridge But because I had this with me on me already when we came here We just because my dad drove us to shout out to my dad um, Yesterday and so we just kind of went to a supermarket when we got to Southampton bought a couple of things And so yeah, when we got to I was like, oh, I've still got this one <laughs> skinny latte left um, and it would be nice if it's cold, so yeah, put it there. I've got a great view now, by the way. So nice. I'm so happy that we have a room with a veranda. It's been so nice to be able to see us move. It helps with the sense of the motion sickness and stuff because, anyway, where was I going? Firstly, let's just let's just end the first sentence first. I'm happy uh, to be back here. It's nice to have a room so close to all the action. Like, it's really cool, actually, with all the Disney stuff. I just said the same thing. She's just in the bathroom now, but she was like, it's so weird and amazing to have like a home so close to like Mickey and Minnie and like the Tangled show and all of that stuff and like not have to do anything apart from maybe just go up the, the lift the elevator and suddenly you're back in your room um yeah I've been feeling not the best in the past few hours I'm not gonna lie I don't know if it's motion sickness or something else um it could be that time of my month as well I, I don't know if that's too too much TMI TMI that's the same thing wow I don't know if that's TMI but that could be a part of it as well but I, I definitely have been feeling a little bit of motion sickness as well I have to be honest and during the Tangled show um both me and Arzu very much felt the, sh the ship like rocking it wasn't like a lot and I think for most people it would be absolutely fine but 
it was rocking a lot <laughs> so massive shout out to the performers for being able to like do all these dance moves and everything whilst the ship was rocking um but yeah so uh, I'm gonna have this this um, coffee because I think another reason that I'm not feeling my best might be that I haven't had any coffee today because when we went to Cabanas earlier as you saw I had a hot chocolate and an apple juice and normally I start every day with a coffee and I haven't had that yet so I'm hoping this will help we've still got about 40 minutes or so before our dinner reservation so I think we might just chill here for the next 10-15 minutes freshen up a little bit and then go back out for dinner also this is the view that I was referring to earlier it's just so nice it's so so lovely and for the first time since we've boarded well since yesterday because yesterday we were still on land for the first time uh, I've we I've had a bit of uh, 4G on my phone so literally spent about maybe two minutes just two minutes I went on whatsapp messaged my parents just to say that I'm okay sent a couple of photos to them had a quick look at Instagram but I've not managed to read anything because I just you know what having not used internet at all in the past 24 hours um, I've realised I don't need it. It's weird, but, you know, sure, we've got 4G now. Who knows until when, but the 4G is available right now for a while, probably. Um, I, I just don't feel like I need to do anything with it, apart from just letting my parents know that life is good. Um, but, yeah, it is interesting. It's a nice... I've never not had internet ever, basically, since I can remember. Since I can remember internet becoming a thing into my life, which was when I was about... I, was a, I must have been a teenager. I did obviously have a childhood without internet completely because I'm that old. But um, I did a social media free January earlier this year. Actually, we did a whole video about that as well. So if you want to watch that, feel free. But that was just no social media. I still had the internet. I could still use WhatsApp and message my friends. I could still use Google Maps. I could still, you know, check the weather on my phone. You can't do any of this without the internet here like you literally cannot do any of that uh, with the internet that they have here you can only access the actual app the cruise line app and that's it so it's been interesting but it's been a good like enlightening moment for me as well i've genuinely realized i don't need it isn't it incredible that you can be surrounded by so many cute artificial things like you know disney stuff which we all love and you know we all know that stitch mickey mini etc are actually real so i don't mean not real when i say artificial but sometimes just seeing actual nature the simple things of actual nature like it's just a sunset can be so so cute and like maybe even the most beautiful thing that you might experience on a disney cruise ship i love it Hi Snow White, thank you. <laughs> Good to see you. Careful Aww. with the apples. <laughs> see ya. Bye. We are off to our Lumiere reservation now. She didn't get my joke. And uh, yeah, we, we just saw Snow White, what was her name? Uh, the, the chick, Ariel and Belle as we came here. And this is Lumiere over here. So yeah, a few times. Decide so quickly, but yeah, that's really cute as well. Um, yeah, I, I think, to be honest, so far I prefer the vibe of this restaurant to yesterday's restaurant because yesterday was just too loud. And maybe I'm just getting old. But... Hi, good to see you again. Good to see you. How was your day? Good day. Yeah, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. I think I just generally tend to prefer more relaxed atmospheres in restaurants these days rather than like very loud and noisy ones. Um, so I think I'm going to really enjoy Paolo tomorrow, which we have reserved for brunch. But yeah, um, uh, we've got some water just now. And yeah, I love French food as well. And Lumiere's is a French restaurant, so I'm really looking forward to basically every item on the menu. They are so quick with the service here. Like before you even manage to like properly sit down, <laughs> they bring you the first stuff. So this is the bread service, some baguettes. It looks like it looks really nice. And some olive oil, maybe. Yeah. Looks beautiful. 
um, and they asked us what we wanted for our drinks as well already. So <laughs> yeah, let, let, it, let it begin. Firstly, Oris and I have just more or less demolished this dip. It was so good. There's still a bit left of it. We thought I thought it was just gonna be olive oil, but it actually has like a garlic flavor to it, and it's incredible. It's so good. The bread is good. This dip is phenomenal. We've just seen Crystal, our lovely um, waitress, our server again as well. This time, like I said, we, we oh. I, I told you I got it for you to try. Oh wow, thank so, you. Try it. They are not big. You don't need to eat it all if you don't want. If you eat it all, it's better. Ooh, okay, so thank you. Thing. I didn't realize I was going to get my own as well. This is amazing. Thank because you. they are very little pieces. Sure, okay. This one is the cranberry sauce that I told you. Amazing. Please wow. try it and I'll be back with you. Okay, tomorrow. thank you. So our first starter has arrived. Uh, we got recommended these like they basically uh, apparently they prepared these for us regardless of whether or not we wanted them It's the brie kind of brie breaded something so both Ariza and I have the same thing But we've got another appetizer coming as well so insane times but at least we're quite hungry today yeah. Yesterday we weren't hungry But at least the appetizer is quite Yeah it's quite small This does look incredible though it looks amazing Look at the cheese just melting out of this Oh so so exciting I think it's phenomenal Oh my god, this is so good. I just need to show you the cheese. This is the cheese situation right now. It's incredible. Wow. It's so good. Oh, we've got something else coming. This one wow. is the dark coffee. Oh, okay. I Thank hope you. you enjoy. Thank you very much. It's completely different because maybe everybody thinks on the dark that it's a yeah. hot one. But this one is really, really amazing. Thank this you. Dark, they cook it in a very slow cook, so mm -hmm. it takes time. After that, they pull it up, so it's super tender and juicy. Okay. They make it in a little form and they put it in lettuce with some cranberries and walnuts on it with a pest. Oh wow, thank you. So that was phenomenal. Really enjoyed it. Um, really, really nice. My uh, second starter has arrived, which is the dark comfy. Um, yeah, I didn't expect it to be presented this way, but they said, uh, Crystal said it, it's meant to be phenomenal and one of the more, more popular um, appetizers here. So yeah, it's meant to be like a dark leg in a comfy form. And um, yeah. <laughs> We just, we just had to be a bit cheeky and ask for more of this garlic oil type thing because, oh wow, onions, French onions, we, I have not even tried this yet and like, oh my god, too much. This is Ariza's second starter and I've not even tried my second starter yet. Thank you very much, thank you. How's your soup, Ariza? It's actually so great. I'm not really into onion, but in general, but this is amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank oh. you. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Right, so <laughs> Lord have mercy. My French onion soup has arrived as well. Looks really nice. I'm a big fan of French onion soup. I think the last time I had it actually was during lockdown last year. My mom made it for us one day. It was incredible. So yeah, gonna eat this now. So our main courses have arrived. I went for the lamb. Um, it's cooked medium. That's like how it is on the menu and I decided to just go for what it, it's meant to be, which is medium. Looks amazing. That's some mint sauce that they just added. I think there's some potato here as well and maybe some avocado. It looks like a very nicely presented plate and the lamb looks good as well, so we're really looking forward to it. And Arozu went for the salmon. Actually, I tried a bit and it's so nice. It looks, it looks really good. Yeah. So, the lamb was really, really nice. Very nicely cooked, medium. I love the potatoes on the side as well. Um, yeah, after that I ended up having a bit more of the garlic dip thing with the bread because I think that's weirdly ironic my favorite thing even though I've had so many great things here I like the duck comfy as well I think those two the duck comfy and the bread service are my two favorite things that I had here the lamb was really good though but now honestly the service here is so quick you don't even get a chance to like understand what you've done before the next thing comes or is laughing again in the background I, I can't get over it because it's like everything happens really quickly but our desserts have arrived I will show them to you in a second so I went for the opera gattle which is like this layered uh, I think it's got a lot of coffee in it coffee and chocolate cake um, and it does say opera on it with golden letters it's very very cute classic dessert I like anything that has to do with coffee basically when it comes to my dessert so I thought that was the best option for me looking forward to it it's very nice and presented as well so yeah we are gonna try these desserts now I say now probably in the next 10 minutes because we both need a bit of a break um, do we not <laughs> yeah it's really nice uh, piano background music as well but it's just piano type Disney music which is really a nice atmosphere also it's gone dark outside now you can see 
and it's just I love this restaurant I'm, I really enjoy this whole atmosphere there's a um, Beauty and the Beast like poster over there as well like not a poster but like that wall over there is basically Beauty and the Beast themed completely because apart from that area most of the actual restaurant isn't too into Beauty and the Beast it's more just like a French vibe um, there's not a lot of full-on Beauty and the Beast details like there were yesterday in Rapunzel's but you do have a full-on wall which like I said we'll see in a second after we've eaten our desserts the apple tart is amazing I mean all the combinations here in this restaurant I think it was phenomenal so uh, the combination with this and ice cream Perfect. This is the main event as well here. Some of the sand chandeliers here do have a little rose in them as well. So that's another Beauty and the Beast touch. Not all of them do, like those ones over there don't. The ones under our table didn't, but this one does. Um, that's amazing though. That is amazing. And this is, thank you. And this is like the big Beauty and the Beast wall. So yeah, you can get your photos there if you want to. I'm so glad that the piano music was the best thing about tonight's meal actually. So loved it. What, what's your name, Pamela? My name is Joe. Joe, okay, Joe. So, as we discussed, Harris and I earlier, one of the best things about the meal tonight was the piano, the live music, and Joe is a phenomenal person behind it. Well, thank you so much, and I'm sure glad that y'all enjoyed it, and I love playing, and thank you, have a great cruise. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you very much, thank you. Bye-bye. I love the piano, thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful night. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Mickey and Minnie in there captain outfits are back in the main atrium over here it's about what's the time at 10 25 p.m and they just look so adorable i can't get over their outfits oh look at them it's just cute and like seeing them interact together as well i know character meets are very different these days because of covid but in some weird way i quite like it as well because it gives them a chance to interact more with everyone in a way because it's not just like oh go up to them get a photo and that's it you actually get to see them in their <laughs> natural habitat i suppose all your dreams will come true <sighs> that was pixie dust within <laughs> reason within <laughs> reason we can't just give them everything now we have to ask that very important question david very important question where's your kids <laughs> uh -oh. now our first couple we're looking for newlyweds or a couple that hasn't been married that long one to five years they're still in that i love you phase oh what else did you get <laughs> a long time wasn't that like a year yeah a year not that long ago your bum any particular reason why it would be the bum over everything else i don't know but it does talk of it often. oh he, he lets you know like that is it <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just spent about an hour in Fathoms. There was this like couple ma mate match thing going on. There was an intuition thing. It was yeah, it's an adult only 18 plus thing. But it was actually a lot of fun. Like we didn't plan to be staying there for an hour, but we ended up staying for the full hour. We didn't even want to leave, but we do want to go and check out the piano player at Keys, which is where we're heading at now. This is Keys, and I love just the entrance of it. I love piano as you might know. I've got some piano covers on my channel if you haven't checked them out. Feel free to, it's my favourite instrument and one of my favourite hobbies to do. But obviously I'm not going to be nearly as good as any of the piano players here on this ship. So, oh this is lovely. This whole place is incredible. Wow. I love the piano details on the top as well. Oh my god. Oh this is incredible. Oh hello. <laughs> The lovely piano player just waved at us. So the piano music is in the background as you might be able to hear. There's something more. It's lovely. We weren't necessarily planning on getting anything to drink, but I don't know. We're having a look at the menu anyway. And <laughs> look at the price of this, please. $124 just for a glass of this champagne. I don't I don't know. I mean that's insane to me. There's a lot of Beauty and the Beast stuff oh, today, isn't it? <laughs> so cute. But yeah, just having a quick look. We might just end up going for water. Just enjoying being here, to be honest. It's a, it's a cute vibe, and not a lot of people here either. It's quite, um, quite quiet, and I think, I think there's, yeah, not a lot of people. And I think this, uh, it, they deserve to have more people here, to be honest, because it's such beautiful piano playing at the moment that it, it, it deserves to be seen by more people.
So, <laughs> we did end up getting some drinks. I don't even know why, but ours we went for a virgin mojito, which looks really nice, actually. And I decided to just go, I, I didn't, there were so many options for wines, so I just asked him for a white wine that he would recommend um, and that wasn't going to be too expensive. And this one I think was from uh, Australia or New Zealand and it was about $18 for the glass. And it came with these truffles, which look nice. Um, I've already tasted the wine, it's really nice. Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very refreshing. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to the lovely cast member here as well. His name was Lewis. I saw that he was from Scotland, so that was nice. We've met so many different like international cast members on this ship so far from all over the world really, but you know Europe as well, Ukraine, Indonesia, Mexico, like it's been interesting. So I think actually Lewis was probably one of the first kind of people that we came across that was from the UK. So that was really cool. But yeah, the piano is still happening there. The wine is nice. The time is late, we're both quite tired. We're just gonna continue. Oh, the details by the way in this in this area. Have, did you see like the all the the details? I'll I'll try and show it to you later on as well. But like there's hidden Mickeys behind the piano as well on the on the decor over there. I like it. I like the, the atmosphere, I like the peace. I was just telling Arazu compared to Rapunzel's Royal Table last night. This is just this is just so well needed and relaxing just for it to be so peaceful and calm. I've grown too old. <laughs> Every night has been ending with both of us in tears from laughing too much. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. <laughs> we'll just. I'll just show you this so we can remember it for the future. <laughs> towel. This is a towel. <laughs> towel. <laughs> that was also hilarious, but we can't get into that either. But anyway, sorry about all that. Um, the piano playing was amazing. It has just finished, sadly. I thought I'd maybe say a quick hi to him as well, the piano player, because he was fantastic. Thank you. You you made the night so much better. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Just thought I'd quickly show you the area by the piano as well. This is an incredible piano, Yamaha, grand piano. And these are the hidden Mickeys, the silhouettes. So cool. We have just come back into our room and our lovely... Uh, room cast member host has done this with our towels today and we both think well I thought it looked like a dolphin I think it probably is a dolphin or could it be a penguin now that I'm looking at it again I'm not quite yeah. sure let me know in the comments what you think but I just said it could also potentially be like baby Yoda <laughs> baby Yoda maybe got the yeah maybe it is actually I don't know um, yeah leave comments below let me know let more us know what you too. think yeah they gave us more chocolates than yesterday yesterday was only two now we've got you know four so it's doubled and they've like drawn the curtains as well so yeah what is the time let's have a quick look it's, oh, wow it's 12 to, uh, 35 yeah it's, it says 12 40. oh it's over there as well so yeah pretty late for us but it was a it was a good evening so the ears have to come off um i'm going to change into my pajamas now and wrap up the vlog in a couple of seconds I thought we'd come out for a second uh, on our little balcony to see what it's like and it's pretty it's pretty cool seeing the sea so dark you know because obviously it's night time and it's just it's um i would just said it kind of feels a bit scary and i get that because i don't know if the camera's picking up exactly what i see but it's um it, it's really just pure darkness apart from the waves on the bottom everything else is just completely black but i am going to end this vlog for today i really hope you enjoyed it sorry that it was a bit longer than probably our day one vlog um, but yeah, leave comments down below, uh, let, let me know what you thought of it, let me know any comments or questions that you might have, and yeah, let me know what you thought the, that towel was as well, uh, the design of the towel that was made for our room, but thank you for watching, uh, day three should be coming up very, very soon, so make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!